I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Show me one verse one apostle ever said, plead the blood. God is still using it because God's know, God knows the intent of their heart is to bring somebody to redemption. Even though your words may not be accurate, but they are coming from the right place. So God will still intervene. You can't plead what was for God. The blood of Jesus was shed for us to be reconciled to God. The blood of Jesus is on the mercy seat in the highest heaven. Already speaking good things. Better things than any other blood can speak. But when people read Revelations 5, I believe, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They assume that it means plead it. They are not reading context. They overcame. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Why did we overcome by the blood of the Lamb? Satan used the law against us. Because we were enemies of God, he would fan the flames of accusations against us because we were not redeemed. Remember, the only one who has the power to punish is God. So he weaponized the law against us. And God being a just God, he has to punish sin. Are you understanding what I'm telling you here? So, so capture this by the Spirit of God. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Notice, anyone who is using carnal means to fight demons, you know they are a spiritual baby. Amen. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. So if I take apostle and I start saying, you demon of apostle that entered that, I am already fighting the wrong battle. Because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. I am not fighting him. Amen. If there is a demon behind him, then I will deal with that devil. I will not deal with him. Is Satan our enemy or is it flesh and blood? It's Satan. But when you are a baby in the spirit, you are a child in the spirit, you think you know. But it is the grace of God carrying you. But here's the thing. There are always consequences. When you play with certain things to a certain extent, you will touch fire. Watch this. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. What are they? Mighty through God. So if I'm fighting a carnal battle, I have left God. Because if it is mighty through God, God is spirit, then I will be dealing with spirits. I will not be dealing with a brother or a sister or an uncle. And the crazy thing is some of us are actually prophets. If we want to pull X-Files. But watch this. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Notice there is no full stop because it's a continuation. Verse 5. Casting down imaginations, the wrong mirror. That's good. I thought I was speaking to myself. The first thing you pull down by the Spirit of God is the wrong imagination. 